The story is legendary, and it begins with a legendary aircraft, the F-8 Crusader. The Crusader was the first carrier-based aircraft to fly faster than 1,000 miles per hour. In 1957, then-future astronaut and senator John Glenn used it to set a transcontinental speed record. In Vietnam, it earned a kill ratio of 6 to 1, and in 1962, camera-equipped, unarmed crusaders retrieved photographic evidence flying over Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The jet's abilities were in many ways unrivaled, but our story begins with one instance where they fell short. At 6 p.m. on a summer night in 1959, pilot Lieutenant Colonel William Rankin's F-8 suffered an engine failure while flying at 47,000 feet at 500 knots, the failure was followed by a fire warning, then a system failure. Rankin was about to have a very bad day. He ejected into the thin air nine miles above the earth. Instantly, decompression caused his body to swell. Weaker blood vessels ruptured and blood poured from his nose. The 500-knot slipstream ripped into him at 50 degrees below zero. But this was just the beginning. Rankin was free-falling into a thunderstorm. Barometric differentials in the storm tripped Rankin's pressure switch and his parachute deployed. Already soaked and blinded by rain, frost-bitten and bloodied, Rankin was now beaten and spun in his harness, violently dragged by his canopy in all directions by the extreme turbulence of the storm. He was hit with hail, and in his own words, boy, do I remember that lightning. It appeared to him like blue blades several feet thick. His body was pounded by the thunder. The air was so saturated with water, he sometimes held his breath for fear he could drown. Frozen, disoriented, and spinning in the muck, the seasoned fighter pilot got airsick and vomited. The violence threw him into his own parachute's canopy. At any time, the storm could have tangled him in the chute's lines or wrapped him in the canopy, spitting him out to his death. But fate had other plans. William Rankin eventually dropped out of the storm under canopy. He would end his flight slammed against a tree trunk 65 miles from his point of ejection. Wet, bleeding, frostbitten, covered in bruises and welts, nearly drowned and suffering from severe decompression, Rankin got himself down from the tree and began to take inventory. He noted the time. It was 6.40 p.m., 40 minutes since he'd ejected. Rankin recovered from his trip. He lived another 50 years and passed away on July 6, 2009. Those who know the story remember him by the title of his book. William Rankin was the man who rode the thunder.